What's up everybody, peace with you guys, welcome back to the Town Hall 12 Where we have something interesting to do, we ha only have one builder though um, But we have something very very interesting that we can do um, later on So, before we get into this, we have a free, free rune of Elixir So this is what we're going to be planning as well So I ended up using a, a power potion, a build potion sorry From one of the events that Noctilone finished and what we're going to be doing with that uh, build potion is just mainly just to cut down the time on the warden a little bit. So that reason being so that when this is over, we'll be able to use the rune, the rune that I have right now. And this rune will be used as well. And I will use the re remaining elixir uh, for when I get the warden's builder. And I'll be doing that because I'll be dropping this builder right now. Onto onto a mortar, and then the remaining elixir. When I get the ground wardens um up builder, I'll be able to use the rest of the elixir from my um storage, and then I will use the rune on the ground warden while I collect the free rune. So you can see how we're gonna be basically having a free rune to max so to, sorry not to max so to actually upgrade the warden. So the world is still going to be down again. So that is the whole um, idea. So we'll basically be having no builders for a day, which is which is fine. I would say, um, nothing, uh, nothing too bad. So, but before we do that, let's go do an attack. The warden does have twelve hours as well, so we definitely need to wait on that. Um, waiting for him to cut up to come up, and then this is actually super sweet timing. I would say, i uh, be able to drop the warden again. Um, with the elixir rune because I think it's better not it's best not to waste that rune um, It's best not to actually upgrade walls and then use your rune and then upgrade walls again um, It's just best to ever have a free rune um, Stored and use the one I have right now um, on the warden So I think that's, that is probably the better play for us So let's look for um, a base So we ended up we're getting we're one step closer as well to getting the sixth builder uh, we do need to upgrade our battle machine a little more, but I'll, that will definitely take time as well. Uh, we just we just maxed out the multi mortar uh, for the six builder, so it's just the battle machine that needs to be upgraded uh, right now. Um, the mortars do need two levels, so I do need to upgrade one. I believe when we the one we're gonna be actually upgrading right now is actually gonna be going two mats if I'm hundred percent sure. So two levels on the mortars, I believe two levels on the cannons as well. So that would take the longest. Uh, but I definitely don't wanna be dragging out the let's play a little longer than you would want. Uh, cause basically you're just gonna be hopping on and doing the same thing over and over. Uh, so we probably won't um show the warden upgrade. Um, next video you will see for sure the warden will probably be down. Um, but I just wanna let you guys know how we're doing um how we're going to be doing the upgrades as well because it's basically going to be the same thing uh the king warden going to be down constantly um and probably won't be worn for a little bit we'll see um uh, and then the queen will get the book of heroes all the time so we'll probably have a max king and um max king and warden before we have a max queen which seems weird but i don't think that is like the worst idea we will definitely have medals and the medals will definitely go to the queen so Probably by the time we match the king and um, warden, we will have a match queen also. So that is um, the idea. So this one has half a million gold, and I actually want the gold um, as well. The elixir, not so much. Um, we, we can work on the elixir uh, on our own time. And the elixir probably isn't like the hardest thing uh, to obtain. Here. So uh, you definitely need like a ton of warden upgrades. So we're going to drop the queen walk into here. And I want to get the queen hopefully into this um into this compartment so she can get to that multi and then go in and take out the town hall um as well so hopefully the queen does go in i would like her to go in she no she's not gonna go in once i see her take that step to the cannon she's not gonna go uh into that compartment oh i dropped two balloons in accident then and there's a jam bomb that's that's just great i'm gonna draw the wall breakers in hopefully they make it in uh we don't have a freeze which is probably the, not the best thing um, those healers are definitely going to take a beating uh, right now. So I'm going to drop two of the ice columns down. We're just going to go in. We're just going to go in. It's totally fine. Uh, we're just farming. Nothing too... I said nothing too, too hot cone about I would say. So the queen just lost all the healers, which was expected because they have no freeze. And this is probably going to be not the best attack as it was looking for because I'm not bringing freezes 
in this attack because I'm sacrificing to have a gem. And that's probably not the best idea either. So we're gonna, just going to rage in and freeze into here. Um, I mainly just want the gold um, as well. So hopefully we can get into this. Probably, probably won't. Um, I'll rage in. We do have a couple of Valkyries, but we definitely won't get into the Town Hawk apartment. Uh, probably my, my fault on, on funneling. Terrible funneling on my part. I should have been able to get into that compartment pretty easily. And I made it look very hard. So we'll definitely get a one star here. Uh, we'll take the one star and go. So we're going to just drop three wizards on that gold storage. Just get a couple uh, pop shots onto that gold. And then we're going to hop out. I'm not going to use the poison. I'm going to be a base of poison. So we just end out there. Not the best attack either. But the star bonus from the star bonus will be helpful in that. And the... The loot bonus as well will help a little bit from that as well. So, uh, we have the elixir. We have 5 million elixir. I will save the loot in my treasury as well. If we need to use it and then upgrade walls. I'll save that. But what we're going to do right now, I think. Should we do a wall? We should do a wall, yeah. Do a wall. I don't think that's going to hurt too much as well. Because there's only 3 million um, for elixir for a wall as well. So, and then we collect that. We'll be able to upgrade the wall, use the rune. And then go from there as well. So, uh, now we have the multi mortar at level 10 and then we have the mortars at level 11 so we have one those are 14 days and we're going to level 12 days so i think what i'm going to do is i'm probably going to do the longest upgrade um yeah i think i'm going to do the longest upgrade just to max it out because it is 14 days and i think it's going to work pretty well especially that being 14 days and this being 12. um it does have a, a two day gap and then we'll be able to upgrade the warden and the warden is going to be what seven days if i'm not sure seven days i believe it does how it's nominated so i think that's going to work pretty pretty well for me uh so uh 10.5 million gold i'm already going to level 12 14 day upgrade i believe this is fully maxed as well in three two one bam and then the mortar is going to be going fully. I probably could have upgraded the multi mortar, but I think this uh, mortar upgrade was the bad option, especially just sending it to Max as well. Um, it's not going to hurt because we still need two upgrades on, on that mortar, anyways. So this um, mortar will go onto this and we just go vice versa uh, from there. But that's it for me, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I know we didn't do another attack or another upgrade, um, but we do, uh, we still need to wait. We still need to wait, anyways. Uh, so when, like I said, when this builder from the Ground Warden finishes off, we'll be able to actually upgrade the Warden again. So basically, that's what we want to be doing. Upgrading the King and, and Warden simultaneously. So the Warden basically will have four more levels after this when we do the upgrade. And then the King will have four levels. And then we need to work on the Queen as well. Try not to neglect the Queen as much. And we do have a couple of medals as well. If we do need to buy a Hammer of Heroes. Um, if need be probably won't be the best idea for us to do but it is a it will be a backup plan if need be as well but that's it for me hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you guys next time